Hey, how you doing? It's Denzel coming at you with a quick video on a HELOC rule in Texas. Let's go over this real quick and make sure my Texas people were on the same page. And if there is any other state that has the same rule as Texas, which I'm going to get into, this will apply to you as well. I'm not too sure, but uh, you know, you can comment below and help out my fellow subscribers and the people watching. So real quick in Texas, if you have a home equity line of credit, there is a rule. I uh, forgot what the rule is or the name of it. I just know that whenever you go to withdraw, take money out of your HELOC to do velocity banking, the minimum withdrawal has to be $4,000. So the question is, how do I get around that, Denzel, if I'm doing velocity banking and I only need to pull out 500 bucks? to pay my bills for like the next couple of days after making a chunk, I gotta, I gotta withdraw four grand every single time. So how do I get around that? Well, if you are in that situation, first things first, let's get your numbers. What's your income expense, debt, cash flow? Once we get that down, we already have our debt tool. And if, you know, in this, in this scenario, you're the one that has a home equity line of credit. You have to withdraw 4K every single time you pull out money. So here's how it looks, right? Here's how we're going to work with this for, for a minute here. You got your HELOC over here. You got your checking account, the debts that you want to pay off. We're trying to do velocity banking, right? Well, the very first step is we make our chunk, right? So based on your numbers, we determine what your chunk is going to be coming out of the HELOC, right? So step number one, money comes out of the HELOC to the checking account. Checking account makes a chunk payment towards the specific debt that we want to pay off, which is going to increase my cash flow, save me a bunch of money on interest, right? Now I'm in debt over here on the HELOC. My very next step is what? In the checking account, when my income comes in, all of it goes into the HELOC, right? And now the third move is money needs to come out to pay my bills. So before we take out money, my suggestion, first suggestion would be to have a credit card in addition to your debt tool, your main primary debt tool that you're using. Let's open up a credit card to run majority of your expenses through that credit card. So any bill that can be paid with a credit card, any expense that can be paid with a credit card, let's run it through here first. Okay. So we're racking it up, right? We're running it up all of our bills throughout the month. And then another suggestion I would have for you is all of the bills that you have, that cannot be paid with a credit card, such as your mortgage payment, other debt payments that you have, the credit card bill itself, right? Whatever cash bills you have that cannot be paid with a credit card. Let's see if we can make all those due dates on like the same day or the same week. Let's get them real close to each other. Try. If you can't, no big deal right? There's a way around that. I'm just saying, I think it'd be really easier if you, or, or a lot simpler if you just did this, right? So imagine I got all my income in here. I'm running whatever bills I can through here. Then whatever cash bills I have in that month, I'm going to take the 4,000 withdrawal and then pay those bills. Whatever, whatever is left over, from the 4K, throw it right back in the same day, right? So you have to take 4K out and let's say 2,000 is going to go towards cash bills, right? The other 2,000, throw it back in there, same day, right? Um, if you're not able to do this and, and your bills are still sp split up all throughout the month, whatever, you take out 4K, you pay the bill that you got to pay, and you put the rest back in, 
all right? Meanwhile, you got majority of your bills going through here. So when the due date comes up for the credit card, you'll withdraw your 4K and more than likely, depending on your income, if you're a high income earner, you might have to do this. Uh, you might have to take out more than the 4K. But if you are lower income, let's say you make like seven, eight thousand a month, well then the 4K comes out and boom, pays that credit card. Now, if you're in a situation where let's say your income is only four thousand a month, this ain't gonna work for you. This is why we go and get a personal unsecured line of credit. So I would rather do that. So if I live in Texas and my income is 4,000 or less, uh, I probably don't want to get a HELOC, okay? Now, I don't want to go against what I just said, but in the same case, if you have a ton of equity in your home and you do make 4,000 or less a month, this could still work you just have to pull the 4K out and now likely, it's very likely that if you only make 4,000 a month, your expenses are less than 4,000 a month, right? Because we need to have cash flow. So if that's the case, you're taking the 4K out, you're only using what you need and you throw the rest back in. So there's no issue there. So we have unlimited transactions. It's just that every transaction has to be a 4,000 withdrawal, a 4,000 withdrawal every single time. So that's a simple way to get around this little rule here where you gotta pull out 4K every single time. It's not a big deal. It could probably be a little headache. You know, you gotta take out 4K even though you don't need the whole 4K. That's all right. You take it out, you use what you need, you throw it right back in there the same day so that you don't get charged interest on that money that you have outstanding after you've made your chunk, right? So step one, you made your chunk. Step two, all my income goes in. Step three, start running my expenses through the credit card. Whatever can't get run through the credit card, right here, cash bills, try to put them all together so that when you do take out your transaction of 4K, it's all at once, knock out all your bills, whatever's left over from the 4K, throw it right back into the credit card, I mean, right back into the HELOC and be on your merry way, keep it going, all income goes in, Expenses come out, cash flow stays in, the strategy stays the same, everyone's happy. So for all those people who are not clients in Texas and you're looking to become a client and this was your blockade, well, guess what? We just solved that for you. And if there's any other state that has similar rules like this where there's a withdrawal uh, uh, limit, like you have to take out a certain amount every single time, hey, comment below, let us know, help us out here. We're all trying to do velocity banking so that we can create wealth in our lives build the kingdom that we want to build, and leave a legacy for our children's children's children. Sound good? My name is Denzel. Hope you have a wonderful day, and God bless.